the rectangle. You would know about that, wouldn't you? Uh, you got the answer. If you want to fail, then you don't do it. I won't fail. I need to buy a tripod yeah. one day. The height is uh, 25 to 1 inch. These are the 1 foot, 26 size. That's 3.5. Okay, everybody see this? Then what we're going to do, we're going to do this little section right here. So we make a line. Here. I'll make another line here. And then we dimension the line. So that top this line is five inches. So we say five. Five inches. So it's five inches on both sides. Then we dimension the depth of height is on the outside line, which is which is two. So that's two. So we go two. We select two here as well. Two. And then here's a command that we have not been exposed to. That's called the offset. The offset, it duplicates a selected sketch. Right? So it duplicates a selected sketch. So I select offset and then I click on this line and get this. Offset, you get this, and all I need to do is dimension, you can dimension just the same time, the distance between these two is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 of an inch, 0.5, and then Here's what I'm going to do next, students. You're going to go to 3.5. And you're going to take the outer line, the next outer line, and you make this 3.5, and then you dimension it. So the outer dimension is 10.5. So that's 10.5, and then you get that. So to get the inner one, I'm going to leave that for you to do. It's 10. So you go, you make a three point arc between these two points. Over here, there's a little slant. Let me show you the document, students. So on this document, right, I've just demonstrated this part. So you're going to do this part using the command that I just showed you. Now this section, you have a circle. Somebody's talking. If you want to talk, those guys over there, Leo. Just go outside if you want to speak. All right? It's more important than what I'm doing here, so you can go outside and speak. Now, over here, so you're going to have a circle that's going to be posted at the center of this outside edge. There's a little part here that you want to make. Right? So I'm going to demonstrate. This is the part here. So you go to rectangle, and you select three-point rectangle. Three-point rectangle, you're going to click here. Make a little slant on it and you get this. So you're going to dimension it in order to put it in the center. You're going to do that by yourself. So I'm going to make an angle, hit dimension, and make an angle from the top edge of this to the, that vertical line, and I put in an angle of 100. So that's how you get the position of this. Then the next thing you're going to do is dimension this edge. So dimension is selected, you click, and you can notice that those are two vertical dimension lines, you can't do that. So you right click, and you select align, and then you get the align dimension here. So click on dimension, and the size of that is 
three. Just more I'm going to do right now. The rest of it, just follow the dimensions and you come into your basketball court. When you're done with your basketball court, you're going to save it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. If I, if I should right click sketch and I see the dimension visibility, I click on it, I see the dimension marks. I want to temporarily remove the dimension marks, right click on sketch, and you hit dimension visibility, it removes it. So you're, gonna, you're on the top view, your diagram is on the top, top view. You're going to break this into a, an IDW. The template that we gave you, you're going to use that template to do your basketball court. You're going to select a scale of 0 0.5. 